resetting the uh, Rayx curtain tracks, any of the curtain tracks, back to factory settings. I'm going to use this handset, which is the YR1326. Uh, uh, and the, pr the procedure is the same on every handset. So it's a combination of using the stop button, which is this one, uh, and the program button on the back, which is this one. As you've seen, I've said in previous videos, the um, your handset may not look like this, but you will have a, a stop button on your handset and you will have a program button on the back. So it's just using those buttons, basically. Uh, why would you need to reset a motor to factory settings? Well, uh, the main reason is to clear any limits that are on there. So if you've set stop positions uh, and you want to reset them or you're not happy, you do. You can reset the motor completely. Um, or, it, or there might be something where you've tried to execute a command and the, um, you didn't quite finish it correctly uh, and it's kind of left half the information on the motor. And whilst most of the time this isn't a problem, sometimes it can lock the motor. So uh, you try to operate it and the lights on the bottom of the motor flash, but nothing happens. So you need to do a factory reset. Uh, one thing that the factory reset won't do is delete the transmitter. There is another procedure to do that. So you can delete it, it's all done off the handset. Once you've done it, the handset will still talk to the motor. So, okay, so what we do, it's the program button on the back. So we press and hold that, click, hold, press the stop button on the front. And the motor gives us that response. So the motor's now back to factory settings.